Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Joe Alvarez back again today to teach you how to find your notes within your vocal chops, how to turn those notes into instruments like a bass to accompany the vocal chops. So let's get right into it. If you want to know more advanced uh, ways of how I do these vocal chops, I covered that in a video about two videos ago, uh, videos ago. So if I'm going fast, definitely refer to that video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here, drag this to Quick Sampler Optimize. Slice is going to slice up all the points. Polyphony, depending on if you want your notes to overlap or not, or you want mono. So you can just not overlap. It will cut off the note and play another note. And I'm, I'm supposing that one will do the same thing. And then you want to... In my case, my vocal chop is right here. Let me play that real quick. Cool. And so I'm going to right click over here to create pattern region. And then I'll just... Just pick something that sounds good. That you're going to have to leave to your ear. In my case, this is what it sounds like. Pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty easy. So in my case, I'm going to use this, what I already used, what I already did before. I'm going to right click over here, bounce that in place. Name this Vox Chop B. For it's going to create another audio track for me. And then within this audio track, I want to click this audio track, come up over here to the flex icon or command F to bring that up. Then over here, you're going to see monophonic. In our case, we want to use flex pitch. So we want to have logic find the pitch for us. And then once it finds the pitch, sometimes if you say double click on this, it might come to file and you won't see it. And then you click, you got to click track, but sometimes you'll just see this waveform. So you want to press command F again. So then you can actually see the notes that flex pitch found for you. Here's where the magic happens. You want to command A to uh, highlight everything. And then edit to analyze audio, uh, to create MIDI track from flex pitch data. So what that's going to do is create a whole nother instrument for me, a MIDI instrument, with those notes already attached to this region. So I'm going to mute this, mute this, and this is what we get. A little too high, so we're going to command A this. This, and this is what it sounds like. I turned this into a bass. So this is what it sounds like right here. Sometimes the one tip I will give you is that when you flex pitch something and you convert it to the MIDI region, because of the different pitches in the voice, it might put in these little weird notes. Like you see like the little random notes. Sometimes they don't sound good at all. So you just got to go in there and just select those notes and select them and then delete them and other times they sound good like it might in this case it sounds pretty damn good so i was able to make these two sounds out of this vocal chop so basically my bass is accompanying that vocal chop with the same notes and pretty much the same rhythm i changed up the rhythm a little bit but it's essentially playing the same um, as the vocal chop, which in turn is making the vocal chop sound a lot more fuller, a lot more uh, alive. And, and the good thing about this, really, really the key feature behind finding the notes in your vocal chops is now you can play something alongside that. You know what I mean? So... That's not that great, but you get the you get the point. 
The point is, you know what your vocal chops are playing in regards to notes, so then you could put stuff around that. You could put some chords around those vocal chops, some melodies, more melody to uh, accompany that and just make it sound overall like a full uh, production as opposed to just a random vocal chop. So honestly, that's pretty much it. That's the power of the flex pitch and converting it to a MIDI and really the power of the step sequencer when it comes to allowing such quick and easy implementation and manipulation of just a, a basic vocal sample that we took and just chopped it up like in two seconds. So that was it. Again, if you're confused on how I did the vocal chops, again, about two videos ago, I went in a lot more detail on how to create that, different little tricks and tips to how to get really good vocal chops. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Like always, peace. Ooh, didn't mean to do that, but that was a nice little outro. I'm out.